I have reviewed well over a dozen tennis strings on this channel. And if you guys are going to watch a tennis string review in full, let it be this one because it's going to save you the most amount of money. Now, a little bit of my background to make sure that I'm not BSing myself is that I have strung well over 7,000 tennis rackets in my lifetime. I have trained with literal professional tennis players that are up and coming in the WTA tour and it's been an absolutely humbling experience. And I currently coach several division one bound collegiate tennis players all at a part-time basis. And to be honest, I really don't care what people think about me or what people think about this content. I'm doing this because I found that I have saved myself tens of thousands of dollars. I have saved my friends in the close tennis community around me in the Midwest hundreds of thousands of dollars with tennis strings. And I want you guys to be able to do the same by having the best informed decisions you could possibly have as regular tennis consumers. The tennis string that I'm going to review is arguably the most popular tennis string of all time as this video is being published. By the way, if you guys do enjoy this type of content and you want it to be more visible to people out there to make better decisions with tennis strings, hit the like button and consider hitting subscribe to be notified on very regular original tennis content. For those of you that are more keen on the tennis industry, especially tennis strings, it's no surprise that this is me reviewing the Bablot RPM Blast. Now, when I think of the Bablot RPM Blast, the phrase that comes to my mind is marketing genius. Let's find out why. This is the Babylon RPM Tennis String Review. The Babolat RPM Blast is an eight-sided co-polyester, and it is coming in at just under $250 a reel, and just under $18 a packet. Let's see how it plays out. The Babolat RPM Blast played very well from the baseline. The ball pocketing was fantastic. Being an eight-sided co-polyester, I didn't know what to expect because the shaped polys I've reviewed on this tennis channel were four-sided, and I think there was a gear-shaped one in the vocal cyclone, but it definitely felt different. This tennis string felt more like a rounded cold polyester with good spin potential because of the comfort that it provided. Even the underspin, which really you don't think of from a high-end cold polyester such as the Bablot RPM Blast, was a joy to play with. It was buttery smooth and it gave good spin potential for both underspin and topspin, which is a very pleasant surprise. Even on the off-center hits and finesse shots, I would highly recommend you guys try it. It was not jarring on the arm, the off-center hits weren't super uncomfortable, but you noticed it enough to where you should probably move your feet and get it towards the middle of the string bed. Overall, Bablot has done a fantastic job with this tennis string. For the serves and overheads, the flat serves were as expected. It wasn't anything surprisingly powerful or surprisingly control oriented. It was just good. No complaints whatsoever for the flat serves. However, one knock I will give the Bablot RPM Blast is I was expecting just a little bit more bite off of the spin serves for both kick and 
slice slash underspin. Given the pretty good spin potential it had coming from the baseline for both forehands and backhands and both topspin and underspin, I was expecting just a little bit more oomph from the spin potential and the bite coming off the spin serves. The volleys and touch shots. This, I would argue, is the best tennis string I've reviewed on this channel for volleys. For a stick volley, it dwelled on the racket long enough to where you can redirect it anywhere you want with great depth or great finesse. And for the reaction volley, similar to the baseline shots, even for the slight miss hits, it wasn't jarring, it wasn't uncomfortable, and it definitely didn't give you any arm problems. It was just good. And for the finesse shots, if you could really predict it and get it on the center of your string bed, you could do some pretty dirty drop shots and slice angles with this string if you're at the net and if you have good hand-eye coordination. This is the best polyester I've reviewed for volleys and finesse shots, just in front of the Technifiber razor coat. As for the tension maintenance. So after about two to two and a half hours of straight hitting with the Bablot RPM Blast, originally strung at 55 pounds, it's still at around 55 pounds. Pretty good job. Really good tension and maintenance. It might seem like I am giving the Bablot RPM Blast a glowing tennis string review. And to be honest, I think it's a goddamn good string. But I hate what this string represents for the consumer. Bablot is claiming that this is an eight-sided copolyester, but it definitely seems like it's more of a rounded copolyester based on the spin potential and based on the comfort that it provided. It's a very comfortable string. But if you want more spin coming off of your racket, try a more shaped cold polyester like the Selenko Tour Bite, the Selenko Hyper G, the Selenko Confidential, or maybe even the Kirschbaum Spiky Shark Black, which I have all reviewed on this Tannis channel. Link will be down in the description below. The marketing that is surrounding this tennis string is astronomical to the extent that it will never, ever, ever reach the hype that it has behind it. Let me give you an example. Go on your search engine right now and type in Babolat tennis string. Click on the very first link that's not an advertisement and then take a shot for every single time you see on the HTML webpage, the letters R, P, M. Actually, don't do that because you're probably going to die. And on the packaging itself, the RPM Blast packaging for both the new and the old one has Rafa Nadal on it, which is perfectly fine for marketing material, but you have to understand Rafa Nadal, who hits with the most topspin on the forehand side for the baseline, has amazing Grand Slam results, having 20 male single Grand Slam trophies as of this video being made. Not because he's using RPM Blast. Not because he wears Nike tennis clothing. Not because he wears Nike shoes on the tennis court every time he goes out and practices and plays. It's because of his amazing athletic ability, his amazing work ethic, his mental strength that would question whether or not you should even be playing the sport to begin with. Put it this way, he's gifted beyond belief. He's worked for it tremendously, day in and day out. It's not because he's using the Babolat RPM Blast. It's not because he's using a Babolat tennis racket. It's because he's put in more work than most mortals would even think about putting into a sport. And that's why he's had amazing results as an athlete. Let me repeat this. The Bablot RPM Blast is not a bad tennis string. It is a damn good tennis string. 
But for the regular consumer, I don't think you need to spend $250 a reel on tennis strings to have damn good results. The most common question I get on my YouTube live stream is, Mark, is there a more cheap alternative to the Bablot RPM Blast that will give me the same results? By the way, I live stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop down. It's on YouTube Live. So I'll see you guys there if you guys have any questions or just wanna come in and hang out. As annoying as that question is, because I get it several times a day, it's honestly, it's a fair question. And the beautiful part is the answer to that question is yes. I have found a tennis string that is the exact same feeling as the RPM Blast. And the beautiful thing is, it's eight times cheaper. And I'm going to be reviewing that tennis string next. You don't want to miss it. And as always, happy hitting.